Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I have a question to ask you. Crisis or Christ? Crisis or Christ? Which one will get your attention? Which one, excuse me, will get your commitment which one will use up your energy which one will you give yourself to the crisis or Christ there are times when life blows up in our face whether it's through decisions we've made or through people we know or or just circumstances or per chance but the bottom line is Where is your focus? What are you most taken by? The authority and power of Jesus Christ on your behalf. His abilities, his faithfulness, or the threat of the crisis. Which is is your main focal point? Which is the thing that drives you? that makes the decisions for you, the crisis or Christ? Which one moves your mind? Which one determines your decision making? Which one tells you what to say, how to act? The crisis or Christ? That's something to think about, isn't it? See, life can throw us some blows, I'm telling you. I'm old enough to know. <clears throat> Shh, peanut gallery anyway so when you go through the bible says he will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him perfect peace you may cry you may even get upset but there is an underlying peace. You ever uh, go swimming and the water is just whipping at the surface? This is what God will do for you. Water's whipping at the surface. You, You go on, you're reacting a little bit because that's life, that's normal, that's your flesh. That's being human. But down deep below, you go swimming. You see people who go scuba, um, um, uh, what is it, scuba diving, and they go down deep. They swim maybe 50 feet below the surface. And while things are rustling up and rippling around up top, everything is mellow as a cello down below. That's the way you should be when you go through a crisis. Yeah, you can cry, you can talk to the Lord, complain, whatever. But down deep below, you should be mellow as a cello, baby. Because the peace of God will keep you that peace it passes all understanding people can't figure out why you're not pulling your hair out by the by the the strands they can't figure out why you're not going cuckoo under the strain under the stress of it all because there is a river the river shall make glad the city of god Mm, mm, mm. Read Psalms 46. You'll hear what I'm talking about. Be still and know that I am God.